Good morning. Is this a better? The lighting is just bad up in this. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. What's up? Oh, this is kind of better. <sighs> Today, we are going to be going to TJ. What? It is 5.40 a.m. right now, and your girl is wide awake because, you know, I usually work hella early, so I'm kind of used to waking up early anyway. But... Huh? <laughs> But we're gonna be going to TJ. Did you tell him for what? Not yet. I went with oh, the name okay. because it's for him, you know? Yeah. Okay, so, so we're going to right. the name for him. <laughs> I mean, we're going to TJ for him. But of course, you already know um, You're that, I mean, first of all, me invitaron. Second of all, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're always like, don't say that because people are like, you're third wheeling. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not third wheeling. Does anybody actually make fun of you for that? No. Oh. And then I wouldn't even take it personal because it's not even like that. Rude. But anyways, um, yeah, we're going to be going to TJ and I made sure that I have my passport. I don't know why. I literally went to the restroom and I was like, if I don't have my passport, he's going to be like, I have to stay. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, Danny almost didn't have his passport. And why did he go get it? Um, he, he was gonna come by with his ID. Yeah. Because I told him, I'm like, you can. They'll just give you like a harder time about it. But he's like, no, I'd rather just go get it. And I was like, okay. He fine. just wanted to be safe about it. Yeah, I think so. Which I respect. Okay. So how do you feel about being up this early? Have you seen me? <laughs> Check out my face, bitch. <laughs> So usually Stacy gets up um, later, you guys. She gets up maybe like around 8 o'clock to give her, you know, a little some room. Because I was going to say 10 a.m. But she's been doing better at waking up earlier. Um, I just, first of all, I just work early. And second of all, I've always had this dicho in my head where it's like, el que madruga, al que madruga Dios lo ayuda, which is like, if you wake up early, God is going to help you. You have more time in the day to do things. And right now it's like quiet. Not everybody's up. You know, it's kind of like the dawn and stuff. I'm gonna like, huh? I'm gonna go here, so I oh, so I, kind of, I like that, you know? So yeah, I prepped myself. I'm going to be taking you guys. We can hear you. We can hear you. Puesto. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm literally, I'm, I decided to take my bigger bag. Stacy's like talking and she's like bothering me right now. But I decided to take my bigger bag to make sure that I can fit you guys in there because I'm not trying to have like be walking and like have you guys on my arm or whatever. But I'm hella excited because it's like more content here for you guys. And I'm actually excited to like do something out of the norm. We have just been here at the house, like obviously doing not much. Um, so I'm excited to at least even smell something different because you already know once you go into TJ, like the smell is different, the food is different different the coke is different maybe bring in some chips or whatnot like something you know i haven't even gone grocery shopping in like three weeks Whew. we'll see what time we come back and then maybe i have time to go grocery shopping or whatever but i'm excited we'll figure it out i don't know for how long we're gonna be there i usually don't really care to go to mexico or go to tj or whatnot but this time it's been a while that we haven't done anything so i'm like like bitch suck in me i'm a sagittarius i need to travel bitch like <laughs> so anyways we'll see you guys in a little bit um you can say what's up to denny or whatever we're waiting for him denny where you at denny where denny you where at? are you we are late we're gonna be late to your appointment bro Excuse come me? on i know you i know did you you made sure that he didn't eat right uh filled it up he just filled up my he's getting his chest you guys i didn't tell you but i have finally finished my book and stacy just asked me que se siente and honestly i feel great so the last lesson of the book is to make a list it first of all it talks about how you should be what you look for in a partner so a lot of the times we expect to get love when we find someone and we expect them to bring us what we're missing and so yeah i like 
in the beginning of my past little entanglement that I like told you guys about I had made a list and in that list I remember this man being four of the five things that I wanted in a man and the four the fifth thing that i had like to me it was like it'll come it'll come it'll come you know but obviously like going through this whole book and going through um everything that i learned and even in this last lesson is like i invite you to not date anybody who doesn't have the main five things that you want in a partner you know what i mean and honestly whew, it feels really good because it also like makes you practice into allowing love into your life and not necessarily from like a partnership but like from anybody who's in your life at the moment you know so like being able to love everything that's happening to you and seeing the positive and everything that's happening to you in this moment and yeah like i'm super excited because i literally just finished the book and i know my gucci's getting here today or tomorrow what's up like i'm excited to open it with you guys and to share it and it has such a great significance for me that like i'm really 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 excited to get it you know um so yeah i just wanted to hop in here and let you guys know that i actually finished the book and i am so proud of myself because i did it within the time frame that i said i was gonna do it you know like i committed to something and i'm pretty loyal to things that i commit to and i always give myself or try to give a hundred percent of what i have in me even though a hundred percent doesn't always look the same you know on a daily basis it changes um i really gave it my all and i really tried to you know like look within so that's basically the point of it you know like even this last lesson is to make sure that you are what you're looking for and that you work on yourself because nobody else who comes around you will be able to give you what you don't give yourself and then once these people leave out of your life when they do leave then you're devastated and left with nothing because you put everything onto them you know what i mean and imagine like coming into a relationship partnership or whatever and like you're expected to pick up for two people like bitch we all got baggage in the back like we all got things that we're not proud of we all have things that we've done in the past that excuse me that we're carrying and like no baby boy like baby boy stay on my mind and feel the fantasy <laughs> i don't know why i just thought about that so, yeah, <laughs> but yeah you know like make sure that you are who you want in the beginning so all right see you guys in a little bit because we got to get the tea from denny that's the real tea okay you guys we are actually in mexico now i haven't even finished my makeup but we got here to the dentist already, so we'll be back. You guys, I'm trying to do my makeup and I don't have a mirror. All right, you guys, that's the best I could do without, <laughs> without, let's do the other one. And for those of you guys that have asked me, because you somebody really recently asked me what I use, I use the Anastasia Pomade. Is that what it's called? In the color. So it's called it's a dip brow pomade in dark brown. That's what I use. Hola Gabi. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien. Igualmente. ¿Te acuerdas de mí? Claro que sí, ¿cómo no me voy a acordar? <risa> hace, hace años. Sí, pero me acuerdo muy bien. Lo bonita nunca se me quitó. No es el niño ni yo. I'll give you guys a story, you guys. Oh, by the way, Marimar is in the cut. She also came to the dentist. Okay, now to on to the concealer. <laughs> I'm legit using you guys as a mirror. <laughs> we have Stacy in the cut. 
I think Jayla was like okay in her era. In her prime. You know? Yeah. But yeah, no. I'm still, I'm still. Yup. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the blog and I will still pop up. That's what I, what? Oh. Yeah, bitch, I was like, why are you yelling at them all soon? Even if you were broke, my love don't cost a thing. Okay, I don't know why I had you guys zoomed in. I always have you guys zoomed in for no reason. You guys, um, we're gonna go look for. It's, it's like, oh, we're gonna go look for a tiendita. But um, I didn't even tell you guys why we're here. We're not here for Denny's chest. Okay, <laughs> he has some sort of like mucus cell that grew right here on his lip that he's getting removed whoa all the lights turn on the lights you guys then he's about to come out and manas playing i'm literally wearing the manas shirt right now vamonos listos oh that was such a good concert that was super fun Hoy te voy a besar de los pies a la cabeza. Is your lip a little bit, um, what is it called? Numb? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Jeep LA merch. Is that a name from TikTok? I no wonder. Send me a picture. <laughs> it smells like Mexico, you guys. Literal. You guys, Stacy took us to the tiendita and she was the MVP and bought the chips that I really wanted to buy since we were gonna come over here. Let me put you on if I haven't yet before in any of my videos. <laughs> These chips are the bomb, the best, forever and ever. I'm hungry. That probably took like what, baby, 20 minutes? Um, maybe like, yeah, 20 minutes. We got here like at 8 and then let me in. It was like 45 minutes. Oh, 45 minutes. That was good. That was fast. I'm glad. Okay, let's okay, this has changed a little bit. Oh, so I don't know exactly that I know where I'm going. Try to put directions. And if something looks familiar, and I'm like, all right, this is the way. Bro, what is it chips con chamoy. Bomb. Mmm. So you guys, this is where I used to go to um, when I had my braces. Me, my ex, and his sister all got braces here. And so the lady, the lady that's here, was the lady that was here like eight years ago and shit. So she knows, she recognized me, and she and she knows who I am. But I also know my way around TJ and Rosarito and stuff because that's where. Um, my ex went to rehab and so we would always be around this area and I knew exactly where I was going but I don't necessarily remember everything yeah even though I think it'll come to me if you've never been to TJ the thing about TJ is that after the signs are not 
what they mean. What they mean. Like, they tell you to go left and bitches to go right. Like, take the next right. Then, take the next left. This one thing's gonna take us where we just went. Just so you guys know. Yeah. Oh, I know where. Okay. Where we went. Instead of donde decía Tai, go to the one where it says Centro. Andamos perdidos, but we're trying to get back on the line because apparently there's only Look, Centro line. San Diego Ped West. Does that mean to the right? Yeah. Damn, we're coming in hot. I am a stress eating. I don't need to stress. Y ahí donde dice para la derecha. Aquí, yeah. Right here, yep. In the cut, in the cut. Damn, there's a bunch of homeless, you guys. A lot more than ever. Wow. Oh, there are people giving food. Yeah. Okay, right here is to the left. Wow. Take the next left, then. Left. And like this right here on la, a la derecha yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Stacey, but it's not there, okay? So it's closed. You guys, that's so crazy to me. Like I had never seen I knew of all the homelessness here in TJ because you always see it. But I feel like after um what happened where like a bunch of people from central america came and like trump didn't allow people in or whatever was going on in the border like i feel like there's so many more people thank you very much more thank ready welcome muy bien eh viva mexico <laughs> <laughs> so cute that's right so cute huh se lo merece todo ese señor right all right. Okay, go on the right. On the right one. Follow me. Yeah. Okay, hold on right here, right here, right here. Chill, yeah. I know, I was like intense. Wait. Medical line? Oh, I know. I fucked up. You did, Rachel. We're about to jump over. We're gonna, we're gonna go back to the centro and come right back and get this. Some Facts. 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 Uh, we're almost there. Facts, bro. Facts. <laughs> we're about to cross. I don't know if I can show you this because I don't want it to be like yeah. sketch. You guys, we crossed the <laughs> <I'm not feeling laughs> We crossed the border. <laughs> and I just want to say that um, thank you, Stacy, for being the MVP and choosing without anybody asking to come to <laughs> coffee bean. Because honestly, you pulled up and you're like, oh, I'm going to get some coffee. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I seen like the Starbucks over there and I was oh, like, oh, or whatever. I'm not even going to say anything because like it's not like I asked for this, you know? And then I was like, wait, she's going the opposite way. Boom, 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 boom. And then I seen it. MVP. So Anyways, because you guys, okay, que vergüenza, but like we're friends. So. What is she about to Llevo say? dos días tapada. Oh my god, you guys log out now. <laughs> the vlog. Which you means time. your girl has been eating like crap. That's why I'm not tapada. Take the next one. I had been eating Sorry. my vegetables, and if I had been eating non dairy stuff, then I would be cool, but I'm not. So when I get home, I'm gonna eat some plums because the plums do the work. But this does the work too. So Stacy is wide awake now. And oh, she's God. going a 200 million on your ski. Wait, baby, what are you doing? Oh, shit. Okay. One of them has dairy. Oh, fuck. Sí, si no mal, oh, no <laughs> It'll help you, though. But now we are for sure on our way home. Thank God. Um, it only took us like 45 minutes to cross, mm -hmm. but the whole trip going to TJ and coming back took us oh, like two hours, two and a half. So we got to TJ at two and we were already crossing back, literally giving our passports and getting them back by 10.30. So yay us, because honestly, 
that's the dread of going to TJ the line but I guess right now not a lot of people are going so that's a good thing so now we're on our way home and then I get to rest all right you guys hours later I am home we are home and you guys like I literally got home and I laid down and that was the end of Amy D like <laughs> and then I, I got up and then I showered and I felt so good I feel refreshed and I just got off the phone with Marimar you guys this is the second person that I hear that um, almost gets scammed while crossing the border from like the Mexican men you know or Mexican people trying to scam you for money because you go through the sentry line you know so be careful if you are gonna cross the border because when you put the GPS if you don't really know how to get to places them up them people because i'm trying to curse less <laughs> are gonna try to scam you for some money eight thousand dollars are you kidding me like i'm glad i went with these two but i think they're smart enough to not get scammed anyway but yeah i am back and we are back thankfully um good also i think i want to get my my teeth whitened because marimar just got her teeth whitened and i've gotten it before but her teeth look so white I'm looking at mine right now <laughs> because I might I want my teeth to look whiter. So yeah. Anyways, I'ma see what's up. But thank you guys so much for kicking it with us for today. And I feel I feel good. I feel good. Um update. I was able to use the restroom with that coffee bean. Like that did what it had to do, bruh. Like it keeps cleansing me, which is good. I low key, high key need to go grocery shopping so that I can go buy vegetables because I like my plant-based, you know, clean eating era. I feel good. It doesn't make me feel bloated like I feel right now. And right now that the gyms are closed again, like obviously I can't go to the gym and I can't I can exercise here at the house, but whew, I've been like running on one and on one and on one and on one every single day. So anyways, thank you guys so much for kicking it here and thank you guys so much for always supporting and thank you for all of the cute comments and all of the support you guys always throw my way and positivity because you know, like I vibe it back to you guys. So anyways, thank you. See you guys on the next one. Shout out to Nicki Minaj because she's preggers. Peace.